In this video, we're going to show you how to set goals properly. Many people come to us with goals like, I want to climb hills faster, and I don't want to get dropped. There's more to setting goals than these vague statements, so let's get started. Here at Pedal Action, we use a SMART technique for setting goals. SMART stands for S, specific, M, measurable, a achievable, R relevant and T timely. So you've probably heard of this in the corporate world, but in the sport environment it's essential to be very specific about your goals, otherwise only luck is going to help you achieve them. Let's break each part down and see what it means to turn the original I want to climb up hills faster into a smart goal. S stands for specific, so be specific, which hill or hills do you want to climb faster? Measurable means quantify the goal in some way. So exactly how fast do you want to climb this hill? 10 minutes, nine minutes? Spell it out so you know what to aim for. Achievable, is your goal realistic? Winning the world championships is probably out of most people's league. So make sure your goal is tough, but not unattainable. Relevant, is your goal relevant to you? For example, if you're a track sprinter, why do you want to go up hills faster? Be careful with having conflicting goals when you go through this process and be aware that different disciplines require different fitness elements that don't always complement each other. Timely, so when do you want to achieve your goal by? Have a specific date in mind, but make sure it's achievable too. A lot of goals we see are based around particular events and the date won't move. So have you got enough time to achieve your goal between now and the event? So what does our goal, climb hills faster, look like using the SMART technique? It would look something like this. I want to climb Old Belonga Hill in under 10 minutes by the 1st of December. That's it, pretty simple, but it incorporates all the SMART objectives we've just talked about. In this video, we looked at setting goals using the SMART technique. Just to recap, here it is again. Specific, measurable, achievable, relevant and timely. So next time you set a goal, try and use the SMART technique. If you have any questions, post in the comments below or drop us a line.